Good morning. Welcome to Arlington Memorial Day Observance. Sponsored by the Arlington Lions Club and the American Legion Post 69. We'll have the opening prayer of the chaplain of Post 69, Nancy Shore. On this day, we call to mind those who gave their lives that our nation might live. Alas, that its preservation should have entailed the loss of so much treasure, should have brought so much suffering, should have demanded so many young and promising lives. The only fitting memorial to those sacrifices is our self-dedication to the task of abolishing all inner strife and hatred and bitterness from among us. We pray that this might be true in our lives, our community, and our nation. In God's name, amen. 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 Now I have the POW Remembrance. Those who have served and those currently serving in the uniformed services of the United States are ever mindful of the sweetness of enduring peace that has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, deprivation, and imprisonment. <clears throat> Before we begin our activities today, we pause to recognize our prisoners of wars and our missing of actions. We call your attention to this small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families so we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call of arms. The single rose in the vase signifies the blood that may have been shed and sacrificed to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep the faith while awaiting their return. The yellow ribbon on the vase represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. The salt that is sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless fallen tears of families. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us of that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. Let us pray to the supreme commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. The Boy Scouts now please raise the American flag. Color Guard present our Oh, say can you see 
stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang clear the bombs bursting in air gave truth to the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star's paint banner yet wave or the last The Girl Scouts now place the wreath on a memorial company by the Sergeant Arms. Now I'd like to introduce our guest speaker from up the street in Manchester, former selectman, BFW Auxiliary President, Bill West. Thank you, Jim. I always consider it a great honor to be asked to speak in public on any occasion, but to be asked to do so at a Memorial Day service is always the most gratifying for me. Today, I am so honored. It is the most solemn of days for all Americans in ceremonies all over this wonderful country, we pay tribute to all the men and women who sacrificed their lives to defend our freedoms and hold on to the ideals of democracy. Given the path of our country in the last few years, a day like this, a day of remembering, couldn't come too soon. When I look out into this crowd of young and old, I can't help but think that if it wasn't for the unbridled heroism of those we honor today, we might not be here at all. And those who gave their lives could certainly be standing amongst us today. Their children and their children's children would be here with us, listening to my heartfelt oratory. The people that we honor today gave up the comfort of their families, the promised futures of the children they never had, as well as their very own dreams. We need a day in our hectic lives to reflect on their gift to us. Much too often, we take all of this for granted. That is a road we never want to travel. From Bunker Hill to Afghanistan, the honored have given the last full measure of their very being. They all pledge to defend our country regardless of their fate. Their bravery and dedication are both honorable and uplifting. As we pause for a while to reflect, 
we should listen very hard for the silence is deafening. Listen to the millions of American flags flapping in the spring breeze today. And listen to the millions of onlookers all over this country weeping silently. Listen to thousands of ceremonial speakers such as I trying to say just the right thing. And then listen to the millions of living veterans talking about those who we honor today. They, but for the grace of God, did not suffer the same fate as their fallen comrades. Hear the first shot at Breed's Hill. Imagine the terrible desecration of Washington during the War of 1812. Hear the devastating volleys of riflemen at Cemetery Ridge in the bloody Civil War, the horrifying deaths in World War I, the carnage on the beaches of Normandy in World War II, the tragedies of Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. These are the silent but deafening sounds of Memorial Day. When we put them all together in our collective mind's eye, they would be loud, way beyond the scope of our imagination and well beyond our ability to fathom such events. Their collective relevance to today is most dramatic and appropriate. The sounds of silence are always the loudest. We come here today to honor those men and women who gave their lives to defend the very foundations of democracy. For 245 years, America has sent her sons and daughters to defend liberty because we value freedom enough to die for it. We have always chosen to go down the road of truth and justice for all. Each and every time we have engaged in war with despots, would-be dictators, or fascist countries. But the question remains today, will we decide to take another path? Should we abandon our democracy and follow the road of deceit and unfounded lies? Ladies and gentlemen, I say that we owe our honored dead, at the very least, the continuance of the ideals of a free and democratic society. That is what they laid down their lives for. It is our duty to carry on the torch of freedom and truth. Nothing else is acceptable. We must leave the light of democracy on, showing the way for our country to future generations. It is the very least we can do for the honored of today. And I hope and truly believe that we will do just that. I ask you to leave here today and pledge that we will always remember how we got here and we will always be the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. That was awesome. Oligarch, Jen Arnold.
Will the Boy Scouts now please lower the flag to half mass. Color guard, present arms. Closing prayer by the American Legion Chaplain Nancy Shaw. Creator God, in a spirit of community, we have paused to remember the lives lost and lives forever changed in war. May we also remember your great love for us and that there is no greater demonstration of love than to lay down one's life for another. Grant that our reflections today honor those who made that choice, as well as the many more willing to do so if called upon. To honor their legacy, we commit ourselves to be more vigilant in our love for others, for our nation, and the cause of freedom, justice, and peace throughout the world. May the remembrance of the price we paid for our life as a nation impel us to seek justice, to foster freedom, and to pursue the way of peace. May our nation be a source of blessing to all its people and to the rest of humankind. Go now in peace to love and serve. Amen.
Would you all please join me now and observe a moment of silence for all of our fallen comrades. Thank you. That concludes our Memorial Day celebration. I'd like to thank all those who've marched, all that participated. A special thanks to the Nelson Walensky and the Lions Club for heading this up and organizing stuff. Thanks to my fellow Legionnaires. We're all invited to the American Legion for an open house following the refreshments. Thank you again. Have a great day.